Imagine an airplane capable of flying so fast that time seems to slow down for it, and the surrounding world becomes blurry and intangible. It is a machine that easily escapes any pursuit simply by increasing speed, as if the laws of physics do not exist. The sound produced by this airplane is not just noise. It is a powerful sonic boom tearing the sky apart, resembling thunderclaps felt tens of kilometers away. This is the State Route 71 Blackbird, the fastest airplane in aviation history, a machine that forever changed the notion of what is possible in the sky. Its story is not only about amazing technology and unmatched speed, but also about human courage, engineering genius, and passion that drives progress forward. Today we embark on an exciting journey into a world where the limits of possibility seem blurred and unclear into the world of the legendary Blackbird. From Lockheed to State, Route 71. It all began in the height of the Cold War, an era filled with tension and struggle for supremacy, when intelligence could determine the fate of entire nations and influence the world order. The aviation company Lockheed received an ambitious task that many considered impossible, to create an airplane capable not only of crossing borders, but doing so almost undetectably at incredible speeds and at such extreme altitudes where even weather balloons became mere toys. This project was codenamed 812, but eventually transformed into the legendary state, Route 71. This was a machine literally created from scratch. Every detail, from the engine to the fuselage, represented a challenge to the established laws of physics and aerodynamics of that time. To cope with the extreme temperatures arising during flights, and the colossal stresses. Engineers had to use materials and technologies that until then were applied exclusively in the space industry. Creating this machine was not just a technological test, but a true feat of engineering thought. Every element of the state Route 71 is an amazing blend of science and dream embodied in metal. The main material for the fuselage became titanium, a metal combining lightness and incredible strength capable of withstanding extreme temperatures without losing its properties. However, titanium is extremely difficult to process, is hard to form, cut, and weld, which created additional production challenges. Lockheed engineers, together with the narrow and highly skilled Skunk Works division, developed unique manufacturing and assembly methods that allowed the creation of an airplane fuselage capable of flawlessly withstanding peak temperatures reaching 600 degrees Celsius during supersonic flight. Besides materials, the airplane was built with exceptional attention to aerodynamic details. Its nose section, elongated and pointed, delta-shaped wings and special engine air intakes, all worked in perfect harmony allowing speeds exceeding Mach 3, corresponding to over 3,000 kilometers per hour. But for the Blackbird, speed is not just impressive numbers, but a vital factor ensuring crew safety and maximum reconnaissance flight efficiency. The Pratt & Whitney J58 engines became a real technical breakthrough of their time. These were unique turbojet engines capable of operating in hybrid mode. At normal speeds, they functioned as conventional jet engines, and when transitioning to supersonic speeds, they turned into something resembling ramjets. This feature allowed maintaining stable thrust and efficient airflow at speeds above Mach 3, a previously unattainable figure. But SR-71's innovations were not limited to the engines alone. The airplane was equipped with a complex and well-thought-out cooling system that used special fuel, naphthalene, as a coolant. This fuel literally absorbed heat from the hottest parts of the engine and fuselage, preventing overheating and destruction. Thanks to this cooling system, integrated into the airplane's design, all equipment and engines maintained their functionality even when the surface temperature of the fuselage could exceed the melting point of most metals. Such engineering made possible the achievement of practically incredible characteristics and ensured safety under extreme flight conditions. A less known, but no less important aspect is related to the people who piloted this technical marvel. Two pilots were in the cockpit, a commander and a reconnaissance officer who operated complex intelligence gathering equipment. 
Flying the state Route 71 required not only the highest physical training, but also incredible psychological resilience. At altitudes of about 25 kilometers, air pressure was negligibly low, and any mistake could cost the crew their lives. To protect against rarefied air and extreme temperature fluctuations, pilots wore special suits resembling spacesuits, which provided necessary protection and sustained life. To enter the cockpit and master flying the Blackbird, the crew had to undergo the most meticulous selection in a carefully structured training program because their tasks during combat duty went far beyond simple piloting. They had to instantly make the most complex decisions under threat or in case of technical failures, since time in such situations played a decisive role. The primary purpose of the state Route 71 was to carry out airborne reconnaissance missions. During the Cold War, the war was fought not with bullets and shells, but with information, and this airplane became a powerful tool for gathering intelligence. The Blackbird could fly over enemy territory, taking precise photographs, collecting radar and electronic signals, and disappearing before the enemy had a chance to react. Every mission was full of risk, but also the importance of the obtained information that could change the course of events on the international stage. The State Route 71 did not just perform tasks, it literally changed the approach to air reconnaissance. Its speed and flight altitude made most air defense systems of the time practically useless. History preserves many episodes when the Blackbird escaped missile attacks without reducing speed or maneuvering, simply slipping into atmospheric layers unreachable by pursuers. However, time relentlessly moves forward and even the most advanced technologies eventually yield to new solutions and innovations. By the late 1990s, the State Route 71 was officially retired, primarily due to the high cost of maintenance and operation of this complex machine. Its place in reconnaissance operations was taken by satellites and modern unmanned drones, providing access to information without risk to crew. But the Blackbird's legacy has stood the test of time. This airplane is not just a technical achievement, but a symbol of grand engineering thought, human passion, and the drive to overcome the impossible. Its influence is felt even in the modern world, where developments in hypersonic aircraft, new materials, engines, and aerodynamic concepts continue to draw inspiration from the ideas and solutions embedded in the State Route 71. Why the State Route 71 is more than just an airplane. The State Route 71 became a true cornerstone in aviation history. This machine proved that boundaries of speed and altitude can be significantly expanded if one has the courage to invest effort in the boldest technologies and unconventional ideas. It is not just a means of transportation at incredible speed, but a symbol of a new outlook on aviation and what it means to fly. The Blackbird inspired entire generations of engineers and pilots showing that sometimes all you need is to go higher and move faster to see the world differently, understand it better, and change it forever. Its story is not just a tale about an airplane, but a story about a person and their striving for the stars.